Right, we are looking at Range Rover Sport L494 gear knob. So on some cars, um, on the back of the, well on all cars, on the back of the gear knob, you've got this little button here. And we'll go and look at it in the car in a minute. And you've got to press that, and it's a safety catch, so that as you change gear to come out of park and go into gear, you've got to press this button. Now, some people have got a problem where they cannot select a the gear. They could move the gear stick, and we'll go and look at it. Um, but unless you press that button, you can't select gear. Now, the trouble is the button breaks, and we'll have a look at that. So this video is how to re strip down and rebuild your gear knob on your Range Rover Sport L494. And we think it's the same gear knob for the new Evoque and the new Discovery Sport. So it uses the same according to the parts catalog. Now, I don't know if they've changed the design, but we'll look at what breaks, and we'll look at how to fix it, and we'll look at the different options. So let's have a look at the options before we go in the car because this will actually make more sense when we're in the car because it might be a bit dark and dingy when we're stripping it down. So we'll start backwards, but right, if you want to come around behind me, Kate, and we'll have a look what we've got. So basically the problem quickly is this little prong on the end of this button breaks and then it doesn't touch the switch and then if it's not touching the switch, it doesn't think you've pressed the button, so it won't select gear. Now, we are gonna make available on the website just this part. So if you want to do the budget fix, this is the budget fix, you just buy the part. But Land Rover do a kit, and they do two kits, and yeah, I only learned this today, literally. And um, we looked on the part number system, and there's two kits, and they said one was for SVR. So we thought, what's the svr -ness? So Kate's got all these laid out for us, and look at that, that is the difference. So the ring, and we'll see where this is, is chrome on the SVR one and black on the non-SVR one. So you might wanna use this video to upgrade to an SVR style if you really want that extra bit. So let's have a look at the sub-assembly here before we jump in the car. So basically, you have a complete module here and you can see this has got the park select switch. You can see there's some LEDs in here which backlight through this this panel so if we if we looked up to the light let me have a look if this is going to work on camera oh, just did, about just yeah about, that's got the adhesive on so that's there now oh i've broken it already kate look what oh. i've done oh that does come out that does bit that so that's the park button that just upside down upside down you worked this all out already yeah there you go right so there you go um and so you actually get a spare screw. Now, what the way this fits together is you've got the module, and then on top of the module, you've got this plate here. Now, it's got a little peg here that's got to go in that hole. So you've got to line that up, and that goes on. That's it. Um, so you can see now we've got the... And then you've got the screw, and the screw goes through this hole and screws that all together. Now on here it passes through, but you can see it will sandwich right into the gear knob. So when we undo that screw, this whole module is gonna come out. But to get to that screw, we've gotta remove this sticker. So this little display here is stuck on. So we are now gonna jump in the car and we're gonna try and remove this sticker. Now you do get this tool, which I think is supposed to help you maybe get in the top or, or get in the bottom. Um, I think I'm tempted to try. There's there's two little gaps either side at the top here. So we're gonna jump in the car, we'll take the tool with us, and we need a Torx T8, so we'll get a Torx T8, and we are gonna try and strip down this gear knob on our car, and have a look what you need to do to replace it. Now, the trouble is if you need to replace it, you are in a bit of trouble. Now, there is a good video, and I'll put the link here. Some genius guys worked out that, as it's, as it's only this end bit that breaks, he put like a cotter pin, I'll put a picture of what a cotter pin is, you can watch his video anyway, and he just used it as a like a, what's the word, is it a splint, a stint, what's the thing when you break your arm and you a put- A splint. A splint, there you go. And he'd use it as a splint, and that was a genius fix. So if you're in a complete pickle, watch his video, um, and he just puts a cotter pin there, and glues it and sticks it, and that, that's genius, and that's, right, so we are, we are ready to go. Right, we'll get our tools and we'll meet you in the car. Right, you join us in the car. So actually, let's let's see if we can do this, Kate. Kate Kate's driving today. Right, yeah. What we got? I we got wish. the keys. Um, right, let's. So so normally you have to press this button 
and you you can move the gear and and I think it doesn't select anything um, and that's the problem you'll have even though you're pressing this button but when you if you've got this problem when you press this button listen you can hear a little click click now you probably won't hear that click click if the end of that thing's broken so it will probably feel different so that'll be your first sign you've got a problem if you select gear right so we've got to get this sticker out now although we've got that tricky little tool um i, I'm, I think it's going to be better to go right in the corner up here i'll have a go with my screwdriver because i'm just looking at it maybe not i'm gonna we'll we'll press that button in so it might be in the way no you're fine i can't I'm doing the talks. Oh, oh that's schoolboy error. Right then, all the tools look the same. Right, there we go. Let's have a go. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon in that corner. There we go. That's the way to get in. I wouldn't use their tool because the way it's designed, there is a little right in the corner on each side. All right. Let me just help it out. Right, so it's just held on with some double-sided. Yeah, it's just a little foam pad here. Little foam sticky pad there, but obviously on the if you buy the full kit, you get a new one of these. So maybe if your one of these is scratched or damaged, that kit would be a good thing to do anyway, because you can't buy this bit on its own. We got enough light there, Kate. Yep, right. all good. Right. All good. Right, stop waffling, get on with it, son. Right. So I reckon next we've got to undo this little Torx T8 screw. All right. Now we know he goes all the way through. Now I've got my carbon fibre stick on flash flash cover, haven't I? Yeah. But yours should look very similar. Right, is that gonna all right so let's, let's extract the screw. Right now is my cover gonna stop this bit coming out, do you reckon? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Let's have a look. What I forget where it where it all comes out. I was wondering my cover. I think yeah my cover's gonna I'm gonna have to remove my sticky on cover look. Because it's it's that there you know. Because it's, it's all this bit here, isn't it? It's this frame. Because, yeah. because yeah, mine is, even mine's the V8. We haven't got the SVR, have we? <laughs> all right, so how does it, it come out now? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Let's get it under there. All right, so that's that front face off. Okay, so there's nothing too complex about that. Right, we'll put that down there. Oh, we've got a connector here, so how much... How much? Oh, so we've got quite a lot of leeway, haven't we? Before that connector. So, right there. I'm trying to work out which way to get that connector out. I think it's one of those push ones. Oh, is it on the sides? I think in the middle. Oh, that's all right. Do you reckon in the middle? Yep, it looks... I'm not sure what the release... Yep, you're right, Kate. Yeah, so you've got to press on the back there in the middle. And that opens that little grippy bit that releases... The connector so obviously you get all this new if you if you change the whole module um, so that's how we strip it down now the one thing I will go back into the obviously you'll be careful that doesn't fall out but we know that falls out even on the new one um, so we're gonna see if we can replace just this bit here so we'll go back I'll take we might as well use my one um, let's take this back into the workshop and see if we can show you how to do the budget fix which is just changing this bit yeah, I forgot to mention, you get your own Michael Jackson gloves if you buy the genuine ones. They mugged us off with one though, didn't they, Kate? Yeah. We got one kit with the gloves and one kit without the gloves. I have to send that back. Right, um, so here we go. What I've done is I've... So we are going to try and do the budget fix, which is just swapping this bit over, because that's just the bit that breaks. So I've highlighted orange here, because we love the orange pen. And, and you can see on both sides, that's how it sits on. There's a little pivot, and we've basically got to spread those wings there to get that off. And I haven't tried this yet. Right then, so I'm going to try and get that in there. Right then. And can I just get that? Can I hold that one? Can I? Oh, it would help if my eyes worked. Yeah, it should be possible to push that one off. <laughs> Let me try getting that other one first. For that one then. Easy. Let's 
tricky to video this one. There you go. So it, it's sort of, and have I broken it? No. So it does seem to sort of fight off there and you can get it off. And you can see it's this little bit at the end here. Mine's got no sign of any damage. I'm gonna, oh, we'll, we'll put the new one on, why not? Um, so we go, we've got that off, that new one. So we've got the little pivot there and there is a switch in here and, and that just rocks and presses that switch. So I guess we just slip that in there, do we? I guess we've got it in the right place. I think so. I don't think we can get it too wrong. Now there's a little, there's a little tunnel down in there. It just disappears into, and I think those pins are sloped. So I think you can just hopefully snap it on. There you go. And then when we press this, we should hear it go dip, dip. Ah, not. Now that this bit here is stuck here, Kate. I think I've got that wrong. Got it wrong somewhere. I reckon, I mean, we've, I reckon that needs to be... Right, I, somehow we'll, we'll have another go because I've, I've looked at this, this new one we've got and the, this little paddle area, you can't really see it here, but this little paddle has got quite a, a gap underneath it. So I'm going to try again. I'm not, so rather than pushing it right down, I'm going to try and keep it angled up a bit this way. Right, let's have another go. Oh, you, see, you see now the paddle is, there's a big distance between it. Ah, look, there you go. So don't go too low. I must have like submarined underneath. So make sure you've got this distance here. You can pop it off and pop it on again. Um, but there you go. Doop, 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 doop. So we've got to put our, we've got to put our um, park switch back on. Okay, and then we can take that back to the car and just assemble that all back together, can't we? We're all good. Okay. I don't think I need to video the assembly. You just drop that back in. Um, well, that just clicked back in. There you go. Yeah, it all works. Um, and, and you're away to go. Any problems, put it in the comments. Hope that helps you. Good luck with that.